Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video. This is going to be a two-part series. Uh, in this video here, I'm going to particularly talk about the Mercury and my plans for the Mercury. Uh, and tomorrow I'll put out a video about my plans on the Taurus I'm going to replace. Well, today, uh, I was driving around, and I got a lot of positive reaction from uh, people who will see me driving this around and uh, asking, is it a Marauder? How did you get it to sound the way it does? Did you cam it? And uh, so, I was going to make this just a basic daily driver, but uh, I'm going to add a few things to it before I finish with it. It's still going to be my daily driver, but I'm going to be doing some things with it. Um, right now, I'm getting the rear end gears put into it. Then I'm going to get it dyno tested. And the main goal with this is going to be a daily driver that I can take to the track on the weekends. But not just any track. I want to go uh, do a few things on my bucket list when it comes to this car. I would like to uh, get into the 13s, which I think is doable. I want to uh, get the car to run at least 150, which I think I should be able to do that with the right gearing. I would also like to run this car in the Cannonball Run. Uh, if you haven't if you, been, if you don't know what the Cannonball Run is, uh, they had a movie about it back in the 70s, but uh, technically it's an illegal race from New York City to Los Angeles. And you got yourself either a, a navigator with you or uh, you're by yourself. And you're supposed to get from point A to point B as fast as you can. If you get caught by the police, if you get uh, tickets, uh, it's on you. But it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's risky. And I would like to do that before I'm gone. Um, since I'm close to retirement age, I'll be able to do a lot more stuff now. Uh, so that's the main thing I want to do with this car. Now, uh, I heard some people ask, well, how much does the car make now? From uh, what competition cams told me after I put the cam in, I should be close to 300 horsepower, just a little less to the wheels, and about 220 torque. Um, he told me that um, the stock fuel injectors I got is not enough, so I'm more likely going to be running lean. So, uh, before I get the car tuned, I got to get new fuel injectors, probably a larger fuel pump. Uh, they recommend one from uh, uh, a GT350, from the, from the, uh, and that should be sufficient. Uh, also, um, I'm going to be... Uh, lowering the car, gearing the car. So there's a lot of work I'm going to be doing on this one. But I haven't forgotten uh, my Taurus. I'm definitely bringing that back. The Taurus is what made this page. And uh, I can care less what the haters say. That was a badass car. And I'm going to be making another one. Uh, I'm still looking at the poll. The poll is good until the end of this month. So if you haven't voted on it yet, vote on it. But what kind of car I should use as a replacement for the original. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. I'm going to go all out because I spent a lot of time on that Taurus. I know what worked. And I know what didn't work. So the remake should be a lot easier to put together. And so uh, thank you all guys for uh, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed... Click the like button and subscribe. 
and then click that bell so you can get all the videos. Because uh, once I get the tourists back, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. It's going to be in bunches and bunches because uh, I already know what works. Uh, I'm definitely camming it again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a show or the station wagon yet. But either way, it's going to be badass. So uh, make sure to keep in touch. And uh, make sure to watch what I'm doing. Until next video, I'll see you.